Hello friends, I want to share something with you today, and that is this, I know the master of the wind. Welcome to A Word for Wednesday. Thank you so much for joining us. Each Wednesday you will find Boggs Family Ministries is here with our host, Davy Boggs. Having you along with us is a wonderful addition. Now, let's enjoy together a word for Wednesday. Thank you, Brother Devin, and thank you for joining us today on a word for Wednesday. I have a little scripture to share with you today from the book of Mark, chapter 4. This is the, this is the episode where Jesus and the disciples are crossing the Sea of Galilee He's asleep in the back part of the ship. The storm comes up suddenly. It's fierce. They are afraid of dying. They wake him and he calms the storm. Let's start with that. Verse 39. And he arose and rebuked the wind and said into the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased and there was great calm. And he said unto them, Why? Are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this that even the wind and sea obey him? They were finding that he is the master of the wind. These men would see him heal the leper. Their skin would be cleansed. Their bodies restored whole in some instances. The blind received their sight. The deaf received their hearing. The dumb talked and the lame walked. They even saw him raise the dead on at least three different occasions. One child that had been dead just a, maybe a few hours, another young man that had been dead a day, and then Lazarus who had been dead four days. They saw him do amazing things, yet this is the time when they were amazed. I'm sure they were amazed by all of that. They went to tell those things the rest of their lives. They wrote them down, but when they saw him calm the storm, they were fearful and they said, what, what kind of man is this? We, we know this guy. We know his brothers. We know his mother. But what manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? Oh, hallelujah. Can I tell you, friend? He walks on water so he is not frightened by the waves that frighten us. Thank God. That is so. I've got something I want to share with you, but first I'm reminded of a story. We were driving through Dallas, Texas many years ago in our old 1984 Plymouth Reliance station wagon. It didn't run all that good anyway. This was in the late fall of uh, 1990. We were in a monsoon. I mean, it was just coming down and the car was not running good. It was spitting and sputtering. I, I just assumed it might be the plug wires or the distributor cap. I don't know what made me think that. I was correct in that, but it was just pouring down and it was a little scary, it was a little frightening. What's gonna happen right here in the middle of this city with all this traffic on these busy interstates if this thing breaks down? And we heard Odie just, just turned five years old She's in the back of the car and she caused us to turn around and look when she was speaking. She had her hand out toward the window next to her and she was saying, peace be still. She read it in the Bible. She heard us say it. She was saying it, peace be still. Now we hadn't said it that day, but she did. It didn't work, but I, I was able to make my way to a parts place and buy the right plug wires and distributor cap, pull up underneath a bridge on the interstate. I'm totally non-mechanical, but I got that change. That thing purred like a kitten. 
we went right on towards Ohio. But peace be still. Work for Christ because he is the Christ. He's the son of God walking around right then in flesh. He was and is the God man. I came today to talk to you about a song that had a great impact on our lives. And that is the song, I Know the Master of the Wind, sang by the Hemphills, written by Joel Hemphill. And this song had a great impact on me when I was a young man. I'm not sure what year it was written, but man, it affected me when I was a young man. I love that song. I know the master of the wind. I'll see if I can find it online somewhere and put a video of it, a link of it down below so you can go hear it if you're not familiar with it. But I love that song. And I'm going to read you some of the words to this song and talk about this, this a little bit. What kind of man is this? That even the wind and the sea obey him. I tell you who he is. He's Christ, the son of God. It starts with my boat of life sails on a troubled sea. Ever there's a wind in my sail, but I have a friend who watches over me when the breeze turns in to a gale. I want to take you to some guys that could say amen to that. Peter, James, and John were raised on that lake on the Sea of Galilee. They had probably seen everything that lake had to throw at a fisherman. Their dads spent their lives on that lake. They had seen it all, but this was more than they had ever experienced. This frightened these fishermen and therefore frightened these other men. This storm was was going to take them down. I think they were well convinced of that. So they woke up Christ. He was at peace. He had said, let's go over to the other side. And when God says we're going to the other side, get your land shoes on, friend. You're, you're going to the other side. You're not going to drown in this water. When Christ said, go over there, we're going over there. We are going over there, no matter what the storm says. And he rises up and speaks. No physical effort just speaks and says peace be still and the water laid down he watches over me he's my friend when the breeze when the normality of life turns into a gale when the gale force winds rise up out of nowhere he doesn't leave me he's still my friend he's still your friend he's not a fair weather friend can we grab a hold of that today, my friends? Our God is not a fair weather friend. He's our friend at all times. And when I need him in the storm, he is there for me. I have a friend who watches over me. I know the master of the wind. I know the maker of the rain. He can calm the storm and make the sun to shine again. I know the master of the wind. Oh, hallelujah. Sometimes I soar like an eagle to the sky. Among the peaks, my soul can be found. An unexpected storm comes out of nowhere, drives me from the highs. It may bring me low, but it will never bring me down. Why? Because I know the master of the wind. I know the maker of the rain. He can calm my storm, that storm that's brewing on the inside of you. I don't know if most of you have found this yet, but you will if you haven't. Probably most of you have before I did. It's not the outside forces that affect us physically. It's not the things that affect our wallet. It's not the things that affect our things and stuff. Those things can be dealt with. One preacher told me famously one time, if, if money can fix it, it ain't broken. That's true. Sometimes you don't have money to fix it, but you can get it someday, some way, and you can fix that. It's not the things that money can fix that drive me crazy. It's the inward turmoil that comes as a result of those things piling up, 
that storm that brews inside the heart, inside the mind that makes you feel like you're going to come apart and somebody's there right now. I know that just simply because that's life. You're there. The storm, the financial pressure, the pressures of your business, the pressures of your marriage, the pressures of your children going astray or making bad decisions. On and on and on the pressures go and they build up inside of the heart of man, inside the heart of woman. And the storm is about to drown us from the inside. But he, Christ, can calm the storm and make the sun to shine again. Oh, hallelujah. The sun is going to shine again. Yes, it will. Listen to me, friend. Trust me. It's not always going to be this way. It's going to get better by God's grace. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. Maybe not next week. Listen to me, Davey. Listen to me, my brother and sister. Maybe not in May. Maybe not in June. This storm may come and stay. Darkness is going to endure for the night, but the morning is going to come. He can calm those storms in our innermost being, and he can make the sun to shine again. Hallelujah. I know the master of the wind. A story I've told some of you before, I'm sure. Odie and I were enjoying music one day, little house we rented, a ground floor of a big house we rented in Franklin, Ohio on 2nd Street. Kelly was gone to town. Odie had come in, climbed up and sat on the arm of the recliner. I was listening to a little boom box on the table next to me. And if you're less than 25, ask your parents what a boom box is or was. Look it up on the internet, something. We all had them sitting there on the table to a cassette tape of the hemp pills. And this song came on. I know the master of the wind. I had just came through a very tough place emotionally. I wasn't out of it yet. I was probably past the nervous breakdown stage, but I wasn't completely clear of the emotions that had troubled me. And we were just we were just listening to music, having a little daddy daughter time, just doing what our family does, listening to music. And Candy began to sing, I know the master of the wind. I know the maker of the rain. He can calm the storm, make the sun shine again. I know the master of the wind. And the Holy Ghost came down upon me. The Spirit of God covered up Odie and me, both of us. He just came down and covered us. And we wept and rejoiced and gained strength as he built our faith right there in the middle of the storm. Maybe on the back edge of it, but the storm was still raging. I still wasn't sure I was going to survive until that moment. I knew at that moment I was going to survive the storm. And here I am 30 plus years later by his grace telling you my friend i've lived it i've experienced it many times since then he will calm the storm and make the sun to shine again thank god that he is the master of the wind it frightened the disciples and rightfully so it doesn't frighten me it thrills me because i've seen it i've had these 20 centuries to observe all these things in books and stories and Bible. And in these 57 years of my own life, I don't get scared when he calms the storm. I rejoice. I expect it. That song is a song that shaped us. And I love those kind of songs. Can I say to you, my friend, you know the master of the wind. His name is Jesus. And that's our word for Wednesday. I make a commitment to you to do my best to see you here again next week. That is our word for Wednesday. We are so glad that you've spent a few minutes with us today. 
If you've been touched by today's episode, please share it with your friends and family. We welcome your questions or comments below or by email. You can find the email address in the description, along with a link to Mile Markers, the website for Boggs Family Ministries. Also, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you again, and we hope to see you next Wednesday. Ciao for now.